Hello friends, in this video I am going to discuss about the basic features of transport systems mainly passive diffusion and carrier mediated transport system. So come to the passive diffusion process. Mainly lipid soluble drugs can cross the biological membrane through passive diffusion process. So first is the lipid solubility and second is the it occurs towards the concentration gradient means high concentration to low concentration it obeys the fixed first law of diffusion means rate of diffusion is directly proportional to the diffusion coefficient surface area partition coefficient of a drug all in water and concentration gradient and is and it is inversely proportional to the thickness of the membrane and it is a non saturable process means rate of diffusion increasing with the concentration gradient and it is a sink condition okay and it is a energy independent process means there is a no require any energy and now come to the carrier mediated transport system in this system basically required a carrier protein for transportation of a drug across the biological membrane so carrier protein should be must and second is a structural specific due to specific structure of carrier protein there is a specific drug for the specific carrier protein and it is a saturable process means it depends on the number of carrier proteins okay and uh, it is the uh, mainly polar drugs can cross the biological membrane through carrier protein it forms the drug carrier complex and then translocate into the intracellular and there are two type of carrier mediated transport system first is the facilitated diffusion and second is the active transport system and basic difference are first is the it is a energy independent process means facilitated diffusion required no any energy for transportation of a drug and it occurs towards the concentration gradient and uh, similar to the passive diffusion but uh, it is a fast process than passive diffusion like nutrients amino acid and vitamin b12 cross the biological membrane through facilitated diffusion and second is the active transfer system it is a energy dependent means it require energy for the transportation of a drug across the biological membrane and therefore it is inhibited by the metabolic poison those inhibit the cellular respiration or atp production and it occurs against concentration gradient means it is a uphill process means low concentration to high concentration and for example various atps pumps like sodium potassium atps pump calcium atps pumps peptide transport system for uh, ace inhibitor pyrimidine transport system for various pyrimidine derivative anti-cancer drugs and neurotransmitter transport system like nat noradrenaline trans reptic system okay so these are the basic features and difference of passive diffusion and carrier mediated transport system so thank you in my upcoming video i will discuss about the uh, factor affecting drug absorption thank you